Welcome Max. How are you doing? Thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, everything's good to be uh, Max. Everything's good, man. Thank you for asking. Hope you guys are doing well. Just uh, getting this bad boy all programmed up for uh, our departure. Do that. Let's get inside. Let's make sure we've got our lovely uh, GPU and chalks connected. GPU is connected. Uh, we're going to connect chalks there as well. We're gonna saw something up because this is not helping data. Let me turn this on and off. The truck this earlier and it worked. Um, I was getting micro stutters, and then they did go for a little bit. So I'm gonna see if that is the case again. Uh, what happened to the face cam? Uh, face cam is coming. Give me one second. There we go. This should be on. Yep. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go upstairs. We'll get uh, battery one, two, and three on. Oh my god, these stutters are really bad. These. Stutters are really bad. One, two, three. Get all the batteries on. What? Batteries are not coming on. Now. Come on, this is so annoying. This is going to be really annoying. Your Alright, let's get the uh, external power on. Lovely. Uh, with that, let's go and get the... Uh, no smoking signs to auto and uh, we'll get the uh, seed bell signs on. Oh, what's going on with this? Let's get seed bell signs. Uh, no, sorry, seed bell signs can go off. No smoking signs can come on. Strobilize to auto, nav and localize to one and uh, let's make sure we we'll get the galley uh, areas on uh okay let's go up we'll get the uh, adheres to left right and center to nav let's go get the brightness up 
lovely we'll get the brightness up over here as well and our squat code is uh, 2000 that's fine um actually let's go over here and we'll get the brightness up over here as well for these lights let's get the capital captain side lights on for control panels and over here just currently doing london to heathrow nice all right let's go to menu a cars and we'll request the same brief plan which is done right there and um, we'll align the irs uh, flight number is ira which is arane 749 plug that in cost index uh, is Ah, uh, what's the cost index for this? Let me see if... No, I couldn't find anything. Uh, we'll get a cost index of 4 for now. Okay, and... Alternate is uh, Uniform Kilo Bravo Bravo. Get that in there. Uh, let's go to init and next page. Going to get all this data in. So, uh, according to our flight plan, which should be somewhere, we'll go to weight and balance first. Let me get the brightness off of this. There we go. So, according to our flight plan, uh, we are going to be carrying 140 passengers. So, we'll put numbers over here 140, four, confirm. Cargo, we're going to be carrying a uh, 3.5 tons so 3500 uh, fuel we're going to be carrying is 9 tons of fuel so 9.0 confirm that as well okay so we have um, takeoff weight of 110.4 so let's see if you can increase that somehow over here Hundred ten point four. We'll apply that. Cool. Uh, zero fuel weight is one hundred one point four. So let's go. Zero fuel weight one hundred one point four. Oops. Uh, zero fuel weight, and come on. Block fuel is nine tons. So we'll plug that in. Just like the stream for interview, thank you very much. Uh, you're ready for takeoff as well, beautiful. All right, our takeoff CG is uh, 21.9, up trim of 2.2. .2. So 21.9, plug this number over here. Lovely. Uh, let's go to our flight plan, and we're going to be taking runway uh, 29, right and uh via what's our via parrot three hotel so let's go to look for parrot three hotel parrot three hotel is over here cool uh let's insert that why are these stutters happening and i don't like it all right, so that's that. Uh, let's go forward and uh, we'll have a look at our uh, uniform Bravo, 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 which is uh, Baku. We're going to be landing at uh, ILS 35. And that will be via a Mossum 1 Hotel. Mossum 1 Hotel. insert that cool so that's done bloody hell is such a hard work man with this stutters happening right now it's so hard we'll go to takeoff page 
so our gross weight is 110.4 so we're going to plug that in our uh, departure data let's see how we're getting on outside so uh, our catering is being done i mean uh, our loading's being done we've got our catering uh, to go So, uh, 110.4 for our takeoff data. So, we've got runway length 4196 meters, runway heading is 289, although it says 284 over here. All right, winds are calm, and uh, 110.4 is our takeoff. Lovely, and here is going to be off, air condition is going to be on, let's calculate that. So that gives a flex temp of 53 degrees, V1 135, VR 135, V2 170. So we're going to plug these in 135 and 135. Cool, um, we'll go over to this page over here, we're going to do flex 2, which we'll select in a second, because first what we need to do, get our fuel pumps on. Uh, lovely and we'll also get our window heat so I actually got to do that so the fuel pumps are on uh, what we can do get the master switch on for APU wait for about three seconds and we can also get uh, start switches on there we go so start Walaikum Salaam uh, Elias how are you doing welcome to the stream buddy good to see you on board and uh, what we can do, we can have a look at our system page or APU page. There we go. So the APU page, this should be coming up at any time. Uh, we'll get constraints on. Our airport elevation for today is uh, 3,305. That we need to put in here. 3,305. All right, cool. 3,300. We'll just leave that. Does it go here or here? I think it goes here. We'll reset it after. It's good enough, I get to fly A350. Nice! Now, I never knew you could uh, make x level look like that. Uh, still not much the level for the global scenery, but... x level is decent. It's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, APU is accelerating. Which you can see over here. We can go and have a look.
I can't see or hear anything, it's lagging so much. Oh god. Is there still lagging guys? What the hell is it lagging? We won't lose any uh, functionality.
Set parking brakes. Waiting your confirmation for good engine start. Cockpit to ground. We have a good engine start. You can disconnect. Unlocking gear. Hello. How are we looking now? Let's get engine number two up and running first. Are we looking okay now? I think we are. We looking okay? All right, cool. Works good. All right, cool. Uh, still not the greatest, but it's okay. What's that? Hey, what is that bit? Okay, leave it. All right, let's get uh, flaps fifteen for our takeoff, and we're gonna get the uh, ground spoilers armed. Engine's looking good. Uh, with that, let's get the uh, APU bleed off. And uh, we'll also get the uh, APU master switch off. Uh, we'll get seatbelt signs on. No smoking signs to on as well. We'll get the galley to auto. Let's get the uh, probe heat on. Uh, we'll get the ignition switch to off. Uh, what else? Uh, let's get the uh, nose lights to taxi. Okay, it's working now. I think the reason it's working is because uh, let's get the uh, cabin crew power supply on as well. I feel like the reason it's working is because uh, we turn FS realistic on. So one seven zero runway head.
Thank you very much, Kubile, for your sub, man. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Let's see if this starts. I'm going to just spawn on the runway and uh, we'll take it from there. Let's see how it goes. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna get the uh, aircraft uh, ready for takeoff. So with that, what we can do, we can just go to menu, aircraft, and request our sim brief uh, flight plan. Don't know why is it delaying so much. All right, so that's all good. Let's go uh, flight ID IRA749. We're going to plug that in. Cost and dose uh, will have four. And uh, alternate is uniform kilo bravo bravo. Plug that in. And uh, let's go to init. Go next page. Uh, not allowed. Why are we not allowed to do that? For God's sake. Let's go to flight plan. Uh, we're going to be taking runway 29 right via Parrot 3 Hotel. Insert that. Let's go down. We're going to be going to from Bravo Bravo. That will be ILS 35. And that will be via Mosu 1 Hotel. So we'll insert that as well. Cool. Uh, let's make sure we don't have any discontinuity, which we shouldn't. So, yeah, that's looking fine. Uh, let's go to takeoff. So, 135. 135. Uh, I'm going to make sure we've got everything here that we need. Uh, okay. So, passengers were 140. One four zero confirm that fuel was uh, nine tons, so we'll confirm nine tons over here. Cargo will just uh, drag it to get to our optimum hundred and ten point four. There we go. Gonna apply that to uh, so CG is 21.1. I don't think it's going to ask us to do any of that now. Yeah. All right, let's get the brightness up, etc. over here. Mate, also nice haircut. Thank you. Thank you, Max. Uh, and if you can I just say you're doing a good job, mate. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. And uh, right, let's go get the lights up over here and over here as well. Uh, all the lights are looking good down here. Uh, Seatbelt signs, no smoking signs can come on. Okay, everything else is good. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's get brightness up for these lights over here. And uh, initial climb is going to be uh, 9,000 feet. So we're going to plug that in 9,000. And let's go grab our um, V2 speed 170. Cool. Uh, we'll grab the uh, decision of to do all the landing of vision, I think. Uh, no, the sim didn't crash. You just had to uh, restart everything, basically. You just had to restart everything. So CG, I mean, we should have given a CG here, but it's not accepting it. So we'll just leave that for now. Cool. Right, ladies and gents. Uh, we 
we'll get Ultra Bricks Max is on. Uh, let's get the ground spoilers are armed. Lovely. Let's go down and uh, get the uh, TCAS to TARA. Uh, 1 to 2 decimal 8. Oh, sorry, we need to release the parking brakes. All right, so uh, with that, let's get the gear cam on and hopefully you guys can see everything as you can. Let's get the nose pressure down. Get the 40%, uh, 50% toga. All right, toga set. Eighty knots, no special neutral. V one, rotate. Gear up, positive climb, gear up. Beautiful takeoff out of Iran, Tehran. All right, with that, we'll get nav on. Let's get profile on and uh, we'll get autopilot on as well. We're gonna go direct uh, parrot. With that, let's get uh, flaps up. And get you guys back into the uh, main flight deck. Thank you, Max. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. And uh, let's keep climbing further up uh, to our cruise altitude, uh, which is going to be uh, 30,000 feet for today's flight. This thing climbs quite rapidly, surprisingly. 30,000 feet in, and we'll go open climb on that. Let's go barrel reference uh sorry barrel to standard pressure this is standard pressure as well cool could have started our chrono actually We're climbing up nicely, uh, 10,000 feet were up, so we could have uh, done the nose lights off, landing lights off, run turn of lights off, and we'll get the seat belt signs and no smoking signs to auto, and we'll get the ignition to off as well. Let's get the anti ice on, since our true air temperature is uh, within the range apparently. So we're going to get that in there. How long is the flight? Uh, flight's about uh, one hour, 20 minutes, not that long.
Goku, welcome to the stream. How are you doing, buddy? Good to see you on board as well. Thank you very much for uh, joining us, sir. Uh, nice actual station appeal. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, man. So yeah, we're gonna be cruising at um, thirty thousand feet for today, and uh, yeah, should be good flight. They're on express flight today. That's what we're flying. Plane climbed like a rocket itself. As you can see, we are 25,000 feet and uh, we're gonna be climbing very soon. Let's get the uh, engine and the ice off. Spoilers disarmed. Oh, there we go. We're all good now. One second guys, I'll be right back.
Alright, we're back. Sorry guys, uh, just quickly had to do something. So yeah, we are at uh, our cruise altitude currently and uh, if we have a look inside... Uh, our top of descent is right there, right after lad ladder. Yeah. And in total we've got... Uh, let's have a look. Uniform Bravo, Bravo 35. Let's see how much we've got to go. So we've got uh, 223 miles to go to our distance, or uh, to our airport or destination. Um, so yeah. Going over beautiful uh, mountains of Iran.
All right, let's uh, have a look. It looks like our fly dive studio is stuck. Or is it? Yeah, as you can see, uh, our top of the scent is coming up pretty nicely, pretty soon as well. So once that comes, uh, we will uh, start uh, our approach and, uh, you know, start configuring ourselves for a beautiful approach down into... Uh, Baku Almost uh, at 50%, we're 46 or 6% into our flight uh, into Baku.
So our top of the scent. It's a bit weird. This uh, it doesn't give much information in regards to like where we need to be. So Lalda is our uh, waypoint, and straight after Lalda, we've got. Um, so distance to Lalda is eight, and then straight after that, we've got our uh, top of descent. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna plug in the uh, altitude for our descent, which is gonna be 2,000 feet for final ILS and the uh, localizer. So I'm gonna program that in here. Two thousands in. So once we are close to our top of descent, he should start descending us. Otherwise, uh, we'll do open descent ourselves. So before that happens, let's uh, arm our uh, auto brakes. We're going to go auto brakes low for our um, uh, reverses, and then if we go to our temperature, ultimator is uh, 1031. So we're going to select or pre select that over here 1031, and then I'll do standard on that. There you go, standard. There we go. Thrust is coming down, <coughs> which means uh, it's going to start descending us soon. As soon as we hit the uh, top of descent mark. Or it should. Let's see what happens.
go uh, open the scent. Which I wish or hope I can go. Yeah, there we go. Right, started out descent, ladies and gents. we also going to do, I'm going to go direct to uh, here out. There's no point going all around these uh, targets over here. Let's go and uh, descend on VS. Oh, we are descending on uh, VS, um, two thousand four hundred feet per minute. That should give us a good descent rate and uh, we should be down in no time. Hope you guys uh, did enjoy this lovely flight today. So we were up in the air for about 34 minutes. the shorter stream um, we've done sh slightly shorter than these I steal some knickknacks from my daughter
They're pretty tasty to be honest. Alright, coming up to uh, 14,000 feet. We'll uh, decrease the rate of descent a bit. So at 10,000 feet, we just going to get our lovely landing lights on. Minimum decision height was um, 198, so we'll just plug in 200 over here. And uh, I think same goes for this uh, landing elevation over here as well. 200. Let's get the engine anti ice on. There comes our 10,000 feet, uh, let's get seatbelt signs and no smoking signs on, landing lights can come on and we'll get the uh, ignition to continuous as well. Shall we just, I think we'll leave it to last. When you get the uh, gears down, we'll get the ignition to uh, continuous. Nuji, welcome to the stream buddy, I'm doing good man, how are you doing? Good to see you on board, thank you for joining us buddy, welcome welcome. Doing a bit of a short flight today. Our speeds down to 230 I would say yeah and we'll get our uh, ILS uh, 
or landing systems on, I should, I should say. All good bro, just got out of class and got two hours till the next, so just trying to chill. <laughs> nice, Nuji. Nice, hope your school's going good. Yeah, man. Okay, one thing we've got to do is get our local QNH, which is uh, 1031 right here. So we need to make sure that's on. Let's uh, decrease that uh, rate of descent so we're not going to plunge into the ground. I guess we can stay at 240 knots. Uh, Nabil just watched Tom from the departure line for the landing challenges last night. Maybe if you can do landing challenges. Uh, I'll probably do landing challenges uh, sometime. Not planned at the moment. Maybe uh, we'll do it sometimes. Let's get the constraints back on. We'll zoom in a bit more. I'm going to go to our approach and we're going to add wind correction of 5 knots which will give us final speed of uh, 138. Minimum season altitude is 198 so we'll plug that in there and we'll arm the final approach once we get close to it. Think. Two four zeros in. Uh, we'll obviously reduce the speed further down. Oh, forgot to do one thing. We need to get our landing run with frequencies. So Isla's frequency is uh, one hundred nine three, and uh, course is three five three. So one hundred nine three and three five three is set. Beautiful. So yeah, as you can see, instrument landing systems is active. Right, looking beautiful. Obviously, once we get a bit close uh, to the airport, then uh, we'll get our landing systems here, and that will give us the uh, landing altitude. Uh, sorry, the course diamond and the uh, glide slope diamond, and also give us the distance to the airport as well. There we go, there's our localizer and it's showing we are 25 miles from our airport. Let's take the speed down to 220 knots.
nice. 2 to 0 is coming up, and uh, what that gives us a chance to extend flaps to 15 degrees. So what we can do, we can get our music off for now. And let's go increase the volume for our lovely... Uh, airplane. Music is up. Do you know the range of this plane in game? Like, can you cross the Atlantic? Or yes, of course you can. It's got. It's a. It looks to. It's. It's looked as a uh, long haul plane, so you can definitely do long haul flights with it. Right, so we've got 18.5 miles to go. Uh, let's bring the speed down to 210 knots. Our runway is going to be just in line over there. No, it's yeah, it's still there. There you go. We're almost uh, at our uh, descent altitude, which is uh, 2000. There we go, 2000s in, should hold the altitude there now, which it should, yeah. And as you can see our glide slope diamond is there, localizer diamond is over there. And we've got 12.5 miles to go. I'm going to get the uh, lands in, so our localizer and glide slope is blue. So once we capture those, it should uh, should capture the glide slope and localizer automatically. Just like normal Airbus, we'll see the lock go green here. All right, let's get the speed down to one in zero knots until six DME. Lovely. Speed's coming down, lock star, as you can see over here. There's our uh, runway right there. Okay, uh, let's get the uh, landing uh, runway lights on nose lights to taxi and we'll get the ignition to continuous with that so let's drop the gear down ladies and gents glide slope is uh, coming down nicely as well also extend our flaps beautiful Let's go and uh, we'll start our recording for now as well and uh, with that final approach is activated final speed is 1 through 7 so let's get ourselves down to final speed One three seven. there we go speeds coming down Glide slope is green, it should be uh, going down. There we go, glide slope is going down. 
will extend the flaps. Fly slope and we'll get the uh, go run altitude to 4000. Flaps full. Let's get the uh, volume up. Love this flap sound, isn't it? Alright, so thousand feet's coming up. Let's get the uh, gear cam on. And with that, disconnect the autopilot. Why did they have to do that like that right now? I don't know. Let's push the nose up a bit. to pay attention to this landing on my phone started to all bugger up. Oops, let's pay attention over here. Alright, two reds, two whites. The worst is in. The worst has decided to bugger up a bit. Alright, we'll go all the way around. Let's go further down and we'll take that exit uh, right towards the end of the runway. I just realised we forgot to do one main thing, we forgot to arm the ground spoilers. <laughs> Alright, let's go bring you guys back to the main flight deck. Yeah, it was a great approach, that lag just kind of killed it for us. It was a, it was a good landing nonetheless though, it was a good landing. Get the uh, stupid GSX to start up. All right, we've got landing uh, replay coming up anyway, so we should be able to get that smoothly rather than our landing. But yeah, we we butted this anyway. We've got a nice butter at uh, minus one twenty two. I'm not, gonna I'm not gonna retract any flaps or anything, so uh, yeah. Let's get the uh, QNH to local QNH. Where is my uh, where? standard? Is here? No, sorry. Let's just go to our local QNH rather than standard. 
let's start GSX again. Why has it started doing this going on here? Go down to this, which is uh, Juliet on our right over here. So yeah, we've got replay coming up as well, guys. So make sure you guys uh, stick around for that. Why is GSX not working? What's going on? Gonna go down there to get our gate. So it should be Bravo One Three or One Three Bravo One or the other. to one fish be on this spot to your left oh it's over there what there was a space over here as well which one is that I'm gonna change the uh, facility to a different one uh 12b no This is making me confusing though. Bravo 1, 2, and. Um, yeah, that's right there, no? Yeah, that's it. Right there. Let's get the anti ice off, we don't need that anymore. Let's get the uh, parking brakes on. There we go. Do we get a dance or no? No, we don't get a dance. All right, no name, hello, welcome to the stream. And uh, ladies and gents, let's go for a lovely replay now. We will see what we can do with the landing. Bear in mind, after this, uh, we'll get a uh, wing view as well. But for now, let me get my face off the screen and uh, so you guys can enjoy the landing like you should. While that happens, let's get some music on. So yeah, thank you all very much for joining me on this flight. I appreciate each and every one of you. We will uh, have another flight tomorrow planned up. We'll see which flight we're going to do. I haven't decided yet. But uh, until then, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and enjoy the landing.
why did they have to slow down like that man see it killed the uh, replay as well that's how bad it was these stutters are not good at all all right do you know what let's go for another replay and let's get a ring here for us shall we Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll go for this one. No reason you should see it. I mean, it wasn't unlucky. It was still a good landing in my opinion. But yeah, could have done a bit better if there was no stutter. 